Hey guys, it's Victor and Charlie for Yummy Japan, and today we're out here in Ikebukuro in a very special place. We're here at Einsof Sor. Okay, so you told me about this place, but what's so special about it? So the special thing about this is that this place is all vegan. Here they have a vegan fried chicken, and trust me, this stuff is amazing. But today, we're not alone. Today, we have a very special guest. Dun, da, da, da. Hey. hey! It's Emma. It's Emma from hey Tokidoki Traveler. That's me. Yay. Yay! So today, we're going to try out some delicious food. What, what do you recommend from this place? I mean, I really have to recommend the pancakes. I, I'm a huge fan of the pancakes here. Because I have a dairy allergy, I actually come to vegan places a lot because oh. it's easiest for me to eat from them. So oh. yeah, pancakes. Number one for me. And I, I could definitely vouch for that because I've been here once before and the pancakes are delicious. Okay, I'll listen to you too and I'll take some pancakes also. You're very original! <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go! Hey, it's Hey, let's try some of this. Let's try everything. Okay, let's try that. Alright, let's get a shot. So, yeah, it's very refreshing. It's very light. It's not too sugary like some mojito it's like full of sugar and it's like it has this sort of crunchiness I hate that mm. this one is like very fresh you can taste the berry inside a little bit but yeah perfect refreshing oh, nice awesome all right now I'm gonna try there's no no possible way I can film myself okay so I got the sunrise and to be honest with you guys I think uh, this is what like maybe a raspberry and the orange juice it has something on the bottom I need to mix up oh yeah that's good, and I was wrong. It's grapefruit. This is definitely good. I recommend it. So it all I haven't mixed it with the, uh, the ice cream. I'm wondering if I should, but I tried like it. the soda. The soda itself is quite savory, uh, but then you mix it with the berry, and the berries are really sweet. But I'm gonna try and shove this guy. In. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna make a mess. Oh, that's so good. It is. Oh, that makes it really creamy. And the berries like just sweet enough to make the whole thing. It, it's it's not too sweet, but it's not too like savory. That's like that's the good stuff. Okay. All right, so right here we're gonna get the uh, dinner course. It's called the Tenjo no Vegan Pancake Course, or the uh, Heavenly Vegan Pancake Course. Okay. So we're also going to get two extra items here. They have a delicious banya kawara, and it comes with vegetables whose names I can't probably pronounce, uh, but it's really delicious. And then we're also going to get the cream de la crop, the karaage. So we're gonna show you what that's all about soon. So we start off with a vegetable salad, and it comes with a kurumi sauce, which is walnut sauce. Okay, let's try that. I'm not a big fan of kurumi, so I'm kind of curious. Mm -hmm. Too much very new. Wow, that's delicious. Fresh veggies, and that kurumi sauce is not too powerful. Yeah. But people who don't like walnut, don't be afraid. It's pretty light, very nice. It has a really great taste to it. Yeah. Mixed in with like the vinaigrette that's on here, delicious. And here is the karaage. Right. And now I'm excited. I'm excited to try that. I've never heard of vegan karaage before in my life. Let me take Go this around one. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so this is gonna be your first time eating vegan karaage. Ooh. Vegan karaage, guys. Yeah. Help me. It's healthy fried food. Never mind. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> huh? I'm really amazed right now because you wouldn't have said anything. I would have thought this was like fried chicken. It feels healthier than a normal karaage, which is like bursting with oils and stuff like that. This is like, this feels a little bit more healthy. Nice, awesome. Yeah, definitely Great. a 10 out of 10 for me. Ooh, Let's 10 Let's out have of like 10. Some, some confetti come out yeah. on the screen or something. <laughs> <laughs> So right here we have the banya kawara and this is all made from like organic vegetables and like they get their stuff fresh from the farm so you're definitely getting everything kind of organic. Now the sauce itself here, the it's made out of barley miso and it has garlic inside of it and if you know me, I love garlic so it's going to be amazing. It's going to stink, that's what he said. Tell us so, a little more about the soup. So right here the soup that we have is very fresh. It's a tomato soup and it has a very slight sweet taste to it but the aroma is amazing. I am going to go for the broccoli. Mm. Oh wow, okay. Nice texture there. Mm. You're right, it's not that hot. Yeah, it's like it's steaming with like a, a large amount for how mm. not hot it is. <laughs> the vegetables and like the fruit here, it's just so organic and like it really brings out the flavor of the actual vegetables. You could actually taste the bell pepper, the small little like tomatoes and stuff, and even like cauliflower. And the flavor is just multiplied with the sauce that you get here. So. Delish. So, is it time guys to try the soup? Okay, so we got tomato soup. 
It smells so good. It smells incredible. Uh, this like this smells like the best tomatoes. tomato. Uh, the best tomato soup. The, the best tomato so soup in the entire world. Oh, there's carrots in it. Oh wow. Oh, it's really good. It's delicious. It has like a bit of sweetness into it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is like an 11 out of 10 for me. Yeah. We just got the vegan pancakes. This looks amazingly delicious. It smells incredible. The pancakes here are actually made out of wheat, cashew nut, walnut, and soy. So they don't actually contain any uh, milk products or anything whatsoever. It's still warm and they're still fluffy and they just, it just feels so good. In Australia, pancakes are usually really quite flat compared to this. These are more of like a, a fluffy kind of pikelet. <laughs> Any Australians watching? I think the white cream is maybe soy whipped cream. I'm pretty sure. I have a lot of soy whip. I'm addicted to this stuff, but yeah, these are definitely really good. It's to that point where there's not even a line anymore, you know, it's just amazing and delicious. The taste is perfect. It's not like other pancakes where you'd find where it's like super sweet or super dry. This definitely gets my like 11 out of 10, to be honest. This is perfectly balanced. It's like so light. And nice and fluffy and this also gets my 11 out of 12. Wow, we have such out amazing out grades. The, hmm. It gets my 11 out of 10. That is pretty perfect actually, perfect dinner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here and I'm gonna finish the rest of these amazing pancakes. We hope you enjoyed uh, the meal that we showed you today here from Einsof Soar. Now Einsof has several locations out here in the Tokyo area and all of them kind of specialize in different things. But if you want pancakes, here, Ikebukuro is the place to go to. So if you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and check out our other videos. And we want to thank our special guest today, Emma from Tokidoki Traveler. So if you want to see more content about Japan, definitely head over to our channel. We'll go ahead and leave a link down below. See you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.